wind energy is cost effective and non polluting. So, why isn't it widely harvested? Because in areas under 30 meters, there are regions of turbulence where laminar flow transforms from a straight linear path into all sizes of eddying motions. This is why small scale wind turbines are not very effective, except for the Archimedes wind turbine, but it's not commonly used. Hurricanes are very unique storms as they implement the naturally occurring logarithmic spiral in its spiral rain bands as the path of least resistance. The hurricane size also has no correlation with severity. For example, Hurricane Andrew was rather small, but it was able to reach category 5. Inspired by the hurricane's formation concepts, how can I implement the inverse of this concept to efficiently harvest wind energy? I use 3D modeling to improve my original turbine in two phases. First, change tip angle, and second, changing the height and width. I also developed four different stem designs to help improve turbine efficiency. I discovered four key findings, optimal points, aspect ratio, stand design, and peak efficiencies. Number one, optimal design variables are reached at a B value of negative 0.255, a tip angle of 15 degrees, a height of 170 millimeters, and a width of 125 millimeters. Any changes in these variables will affect the curvature, surface area, and weight, which influence the quant effect, power, and efficiency. In general, a decrease in tip angle increases power and efficiency. An increase in width increases power but decreases efficiency. An increase in height decreases both power and efficiency. Number two, aspect ratios. The most challenging aspect of my project was the SOLIDWORKS flow simulations. Starting from no experience, I was able to study tutorials and derive this data. From the flow simulations, I gained insights into relationships between wind velocity pressure, and the aspect ratio. Aspect ratio is the effect of surface area divided by sweep area. The quant effect and turbulence within the turbine affect the energy captured or lost, which are influenced by the aspect ratio. High aspect ratio leads to lower pressure and lower power due to lack of energy captured as shown in the wind exit velocity. Low aspect ratio leads to higher pressure but more turbulence, even making winds move backwards which diminishes the quant effect and lowers the efficiency. Optimal aspect ratio is achieved between 2.7 and 3, where pressure is adequately captured in the turbine without much turbulence while still benefiting from the quant effect. Number 3, the new and improved frontless stand design. Improved overall power between 29 and 144% in all latitude and longitude testing, mainly from the wind direction 45 degrees south. Number four, peak efficiencies. All turbines peaked at five to eight meters per second, where W1 was the best performing and H3 was the worst. The peak efficiency is at 45.3%, 17.9% higher than my original, and 10.5 to 22.7% higher than both commercial Archimedes wind turbines. However, it drops afterwards, possibly due to a lack of variable speed gearbox. How does my logarithmic spiral wind turbine outperform the commercial Archimedes windmill? The low tip angle is proven to be more efficient. Logarithmic spiral has less linear length for the same sweep area, which means less weight, and the frontless stand design reduces wind blockage. So where can my turbine be deployed? Locally and globally. In California, we can save up to $133 per month. Ideal locations for my wind turbine are in urban and suburban settings. So with my logarithmic wind turbine, we can make alternative energy no longer alternative.